Hello there. There's nothing like a cookout, is there? Hamburgers are so much better when they're fresh from the grill. And the same goes for spare ribs or that German classic, Bratwurst. Whoa, 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 let's settle down here. Not all sausage is the same. This one is made without meat. More and more Germans are going vegetarian and vegan and this shift in eating habits has created a quickly growing market for food suppliers that don't use animal products. Who's benefiting? One tasty example is the Swiss company Planted, which has set up shop in Berlin. It produces mouth-watering kebab, pulled pork and chicken dishes from peas, rapeseed oil and B12 a key vitamin people conventionally get from animal-based foods. One reason for expanding to Germany is to be able to source ingredients within the EU. And in August, Planted raised 19 million euros in VC funding. Vegetarian food is no longer seen as a lesser alternative to meat. Planted's new ad campaign, I grill what I will, displays this new self-confidence. Germany is and has been at the forefront of the plant-based revolution. You have, for example, some traditional meat producers that paved the way forward for all the others. Or, in general, a very developed food and beverage retail market that helps this category to further develop. Scenes like this in German supermarkets would have been unthinkable a decade ago. But the trend toward vegetarianism and veganism has been growing since the late 1970s. Year on year, Germans have been consuming less and less sausage, sauerbraten, speck and saumagen. 83,000 tons of meat substitutes were produced in 2020, an annual rise of 76% at a value of 375 million euros. In total, the German plant-based food sector, which includes plant-based milk, cheese, yogurt and other products, grew by 53% reaching a sales value of around 1 billion euros. What's driving the trend? The reasons vary. Desire for a healthier lifestyle, animal welfare concerns, worries about the use of antibiotics and environmental activism are just some of the reasons many Germans are modifying their diets. Some are cutting out meat entirely, while others are eating less of it. But all are part of a fundamental shift experts see continuing for the foreseeable future. Indeed, they draw comparisons to the dramatic growth of the organic food market in past years. From a producer's perspective, manufacturers will find optimal location factors here in Germany. From raw material supply to cost-efficient production locations, R&D facilities, as well as qualified personnel. German food producers like Rügenwalder Mühle that used to specialize in traditional cold cuts are generating more and more revenue with vegan and vegetarian alternatives. Meanwhile, multinational giant Danone and Swedish rising star Oatly are doing brisk business with milk substitutes. But big or small, to fully take advantage of Europe's largest market, companies need a presence here. International companies as well as plenty of startups develop new products all the time. And these companies will help make the market to grow from its infancies. Germany Trade and Invest can help you figure out if you've got the right ingredients to cook up some profits in Germany. We're a government agency, so our services are free. Get in touch at gtai.com and give us some positive feedback if this video gave you some ideas to chew on. Till next time, bon appétit. Mmm, delicious. <laughs>